ओके अब रखो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास अंडर द चैप्टर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड इट एप्लीकेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग द व्हाट द कांसेप्ट मींस वी स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग द कांसेप्ट बायोटेक्नोलॉजिकल एप्लीकेशंस इन मेडिसिन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कांसेप्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी रिगार्डिंग द जेनेटिकली इंजीनियर्ड इंसुलिन जेनेटिकली इंजीनियर्ड इंसुलिन ओके ना इन टुडेस क्लास अंडर द व्हाट द कांसेप्ट बायोटेक्नोलॉजिकल एप्लीकेशंस इन मेडिसिन द सेकंड एप्लीकेशन दैट इज व्हाट जीन थेरेपी दैट इज जीन थेरेपी व्हाट इज द जीन थेरेपी एंड व्हाई इट रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो इफ अ पर्सन इज बोर्न विद ए हेरिडिटरी डिसीज इफ द पर्सन इज बोर्न विद ए हेरिडिटरी डिसीजेस can be corrected by the therapy and what by you will mean sir such diseases hereditary diseases in the sense what the diseases which are going to carry from one generation to the another generation such diseases can be treated with the help of therapy and gene therapy is an attempt to do this and whatever i have done about this gene therapy can be helpful or it can be attempted for the doing or correcting the hereditary diseases correcting the hereditary diseases okay next one thing is the in a what we are going to call it as a gene therapy or a hereditary diseases we are going to find a form the defective gene and that defective gene can be diagnosed in a child or a embryos the defective gene which is going to carry Uh, means a defective gene which is going to carry or which is going to transfer from one generation to the another generation okay and that time we want to call it as a hereditary disease so the defective gene we are going to diagnose it in a child or a embryo child or a embryo we are going to diagnose child or a embryo here the genes are inserted into the person's cell here the genes are inserted into the person's cells or a tissue into the tissue or person's cells tissue or a cells to treat the what we are going to call as a hereditary disease in the sense therapy in a sense if a person is born with the hereditary diseases can be hereditary diseases can be corrected by the therapy and the gene therapy is one of the attempt to recorrect or treat the hereditary diseases in which what we are going to go for we are going to identify the defective gene that is what diagnosed in a child or a embryo then the genes which are required for correcting those defective gene we are going to insert it into the tissue or a cells of a person okay to treat the hereditary Treat the hereditary diseases, and the correction of a genetic defect involves in a delivery of a normal gene into the individual or embryo take over the functions of the defective gene. In the sense, when we are going to add what we are going to call it as a normal gene into a child or an embryo, that gene can overtake the defective gene. That can overtake the defective gene and recorrect. the genetic makeup understood that is what we are going to call it as a therapy and such type of gene therapy was first what we are going to call it as a clinical gene therapy was given in 1990 for the 4 year old girl and with the and that girl is suffering from the adenosine deaminase deficiency adenosine deaminase deficiency now it is very important this adenosine deaminase it is an enzyme adenosine deaminase it is an enzyme and this enzyme is what crucial for the immune function you all are saying about the immune system immune system in the sense what our body has a defense system against the foreign pathogens or foreign antigens okay here uh, in such cases 
the adenosine uh, sorry adenosine diamine is the enzyme which is very crucial for the immune system to function immune system to function immune system function aagbe kattandre yav enzyme is there the adenosine diaminos so the gene therapy was first given in 1990 for a 4 year old girl she is suffering from adenosine 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 diaminase ad deficiency and this adenosine diaminase it is an enzyme which is crucial it has a crucial role in a immune system function immune system function and this adenosine diaminase deficiency is lead by in the sense uh, led by andra adu hang aagutundi due to the deletion of one gene deletion of a one gene which is responsible for the adenosine diaminase one gene deletion of a gene what i told you the adenosine uh, the deletion of the gene for the adenosine diaminase only deletion of a gene which is required for the formation uh, for the gene adenosine diaminase adenosine diaminase enzyme vekaranta gene delete aagandre adenosine diaminase deficiency aagutte that leads to the for, for adenosine diaminase deficiency understood in some children ad deficiency can be cured now what is going to happen after the deficiency of adenosine diaminase in some children this adenosine diaminase deficiency can be cured by bone marrow transplantation you all study about the what uh, what we are going to call it as lymphoid organs lymphoid tissues uh, lymphoid organs lymphoid organs are bone marrow thymus and all you are studying now here to recorrect the adenosine diaminase deficiency in some children it is cured by bone marrow transplantation bone marrow name one of the transplant and i told you in bone marrow t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes both are going to uh, what produce in bone marrow so uh, for uh, treating this adenosine diaminase deficiency in uh, some children it is cured by the bone marrow transplantation and in some children it can be treated by the enzyme replacement therapy enzyme replacement therapy in the sense directly we are going to inject the adenosine diaminase functioning enzyme given directly injection to the children okay so these are the two methods to treat adenosine diaminase what we are going to call as deficiency but these are not completely curable these are not completely curable so that uh, we are going to go for the gene therapy in gene therapy what is going to happen in the sense gene therapy again what to do that we are going to remove the patient's lymphocytes from the blood outside and they are going to culture in a culture media and in that culture media we are going to add functional ada complementary dna using the retroviral functional ada we are going to add into the culture media and incubate both both these two lymphocytes and functional adh and then return both these return into the patients return into the patients and that is what the treating is hereditary or a adenosine diaminase by using the gene therapy gene therapy like what you are lymphocytes patient with lymphocytes blood like you are already there on culture matter a culture media like what you are we are going to add the functional ad that is the complementary dna using the retroviral vector and retroviral vector in the sense what you are studying see last time regarding vectors for the cloning genes in a plants and what we are going to call that one as a animals that is the cloning vector that is retrovirus or retroviral the vector in the sense that is having the capacity to uh, divide and redivide to form a cell but we are going to modify that and we are going to produce the cancer causing uh, what we are going to call it as a characters and we are going to use which gene we want that we are going to work it that is what retroviral vector so lymphocytes we are going to remove from the patients and we are going to grow them outside the outside the body in a culture media and we are going to add for that this one culture media functional ada complementary dna with the retroviral vector then both these again return into the patient that is what gene therapy but this is also found some what we are going to call that one as a 
and the cells are uh, immortality of the cells are required to periodic in functioning periodic in functioning in a sense this cell again they are going to go for that in functioning for the permanent treatment of this gene therapy in the sense they are going to go for bone marrow bone marrow they are going to remove the genes from the bone marrow not complete bone marrow genes for the genes for the adenosine deaminase enzyme formation we are going to remove from the bone marrow and that we are going to introduce in the early embryonic stages early embryonic stages gene is isolated from the bone marrow cells gene is isolated from the bone marrow cells which are uh, which is producing the ada which is producing the ada which is a uh, helpful that uh, gene is helpful for the producing ada and that can be introduced into the early embryonic stages early embryonic stages and this could be a permanent what treatment for the adenosine deaminase deficiency syndrome means adenosine deamine uh, means what adenosine deaminase deficiency deficiency adenosine deaminase deficiency basis okay this is about what gene therapy in gene therapy we are discussed regarding what what is gene therapy and when we are going to go for the gene therapy we are going to go for the gene therapy when the hereditary diseases are there we used to correct the hereditary diseases example here we are discussed about the adenosine that means deaminase ada deficiency it is due to the addition of gene which is required for the adenosine deaminase and these are the two methods which are going to use for treating the adenosine deaminase deficiency but those are not completely curable then we are going to go for the gene therapy and required blood and functional area is to mix this is also facing some deficiency in the sense of in functioning of a cell periodic in functioning of the cell so the permanent treatment for the uh, what adenosine deaminase is we are going to isolate the genes which are which is responsible which are responsible for the production of adenosine deaminase and those from the bone marrow and those are introduced into the early embryonic stages and it could be a permanent what we are going to call that one as a uh, treatment for uh, adenosine deaminase adenosine deaminase this is about what gene therapy and uh, last in this what biotechnology applications in a medicine we are going to discuss about the molecular diagnostics molecular diagnosis molecular diagnosis molecular diagnosis in the sense what here you all are diagnosis in the sense we are going to recognize the disease uh, which disease is there and the yav disease again yeah this is not continuous diagnosis molecular diagnosis in the sense what we are going to use this uh, biotechnology to recognize the diseases at a molecular level in the sense uh, you know the effective treatment of diseases early diagnosis understanding the pathology means pathophysiology is a very important pathophysiology and now blood test ke urine test now ela maartivi adunu and now test maadi kuda nam em paadunda ga yav test age tarudu kandu idittidu using the controversial method of diagnosis serum and urine analysis i told you now early detection is not possible okay recombinant uh, dna technology polymerase chain reaction in the sense you can act paadunda ga one thought now this is not diagnosed more but but some diseases we can diagnose based upon the pathological what we are going to call it as a analysis for that we are going to go for the recombinant dna technology and dna manipulation polymerase chain reaction in the sense we are going to manipulate the genes and we uh, study then uh, elisa enzyme la linked amino sorbent assay pcr okay r dna technology eli S A L I S A in the sense enzyme linked amino sorbent S A. You all have heard about it, right? This is polymer chain reaction. R A is a recombinant DNA technology. L I S A enzyme linked amino sorbent S A. Enzyme linked amino sorbent S A are some techniques 
to serve as a purpose of diagnostic these are used for the diagnosis okay d i a g n o s i s diagnosis of some diseases now presence of the pathogen like bacteria virus etc normally suspected only of the pathogen has produced a disease symptoms the concentration of pathogen is already very high in a body in the sense by using this what we uh, mole means uh, biological techniques we are going to go for the diagnosing the different diseases a single stranded dna or rna tagged with the radioactive molecule proofs we are going to tag those with the radioactive molecule proofs and allow to hybridize into the complementary dna in a clone and cell followed by the detection using the radio uh, radio means auto radiography auto radiography it is also one technique auto radiography auto radiography this is also one technique we are going to uh, detect some uh, diseases and all and elisa you all know about the uh, using this elisa we are going to detect the proteins glycoproteins etc again now on the example now in padandaga uh, we are going to go for detecting hiv also we detect martha hiv this is again we are now detect martha we are going to go for the elisa and all these are the things you are going to write regarding what molecular diagnostic once you go through the book and you try to write down the notes regarding the biological applications in a molecular diagnostic pcr rna technology elisa radiography etc elisa is based upon the principles of this is based upon the principles of antigen antibody uh, interactions okay antigen antibody interaction antigen antibody interaction this elisa is based upon the antigen antibody interaction infection by the pathogen can be detected by the presence of antigens and the pathogen presence of antigen due to the elisa means elisa we are going to form the presence of pathogen regarding its uh, proteins or a glycoproteins or by detecting the antibodies synthesized against the pathogen or by the our body is going to produce the antibodies against that pathogen that is in the what we are going to call that as a elisa okay like this we can use the biotechnology in a uh, medicine as a molecular diagnosis this is about what the biotechnological applications in medicine first application we are studied in genetically engineered insulin second one we are studied now that is the gene therapy and third one is a molecular diagnostic if the question asked for you for the five marks write a note on biotechnological applications in medicine that time you have to write regarding the genetically engineered insulin you give the example of insulin then gene therapy then molecular diagnostic and sometimes they are going to ask you the separate questions write a note on genetically engineered insulin write a note on gene therapy write a note on what we call that as a molecular diagnostic for the three marks question okay this is very important as a point of your final examination also and few one marks and two marks question as to be asked what is that in the sense of eda long form of eda adenosine diaminis okay the such questions they may be asked for a one mark question so this is a regarding what biotechnology application under the biotechnological applications in medicine biotechnology bi biotechnological applications in medicine that is what genetically engineered insulin second one is a gene therapy and third one is a molecular diagnosis okay i am going to stop here with this and in next class we are going to start with the transgenic animals by using the biotechnology and ethical uh, next one we are going to study the concept ethical issues and these two concepts are going to means if we are going to complete these two concept transgenic animals and ethical issues the chapter has to be complete that is what biotechnology and its application okay so i'll stop here 
and i will continue next thank you